Okay, AI is getting crazier and crazier every single day. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own AI cold calling appointment booking bot that will actually call outbound leads and book them in for an appointment. And the reason it's so powerful is because AI doesn't sleep. You can have a 24-7, 365 days of the year killer appointment booking bot on your team. And it's gotten to the point where it literally sounds the same as a human, like it's crazy. So what I wanted to do first and foremost in this video was give you a direct comparison of an AI cold caller versus a human caller and give you my thoughts and inputs on it. And then I actually wanna show you how to build it for yourself. So make sure you keep watching because at the end, I'm literally gonna show you inside goal level, how to set it up um, and just everything. So let's get into this. So right now I've got a demo of um, an AI caller. So we'll do this one first and then we'll actually get into a human one. So let's listen to it. Hey Joey, I see you or someone from your location recently visited our site looking for more info on a cash offer. Was that you by chance? Uh, yes, it was. Hey there, I'm Jessica and I'm with REI Reply. I was hoping to speak with the owners of the property. Is that you? Okay, so it sounds pretty legit. I think definitely having a woman on it sounds a lot better because there's a lot of, or sorry, a lot less underexposure compared to males who typically always call uh, leads, so they're probably a bit overexposed. But now, let's take a look at a human calling. So I'm inside my Go High Level, and this is actually one of my SDRs, so a sales development rep of mine. He's on my team, his name's Jack, he's amazing. So let's review this and see the difference. Okay, so the two things I noticed was the tonality and the ability to laugh and joke um, may not be fully developed with AI yet compared to a human um, or, yeah, uh, a cold caller. So that's the main difference is just the human element of laughing. And that's what I've noticed. But besides that, it's pretty much accurate. Like what Jack did well was uh, time allocation. So instead of the prospect being like, oh, I've got to go, um, Jack actually set a time. So he said, I've only got five minutes. Is it cool if I ask you a couple of questions? Um, but obviously that can be done with AI. So the only difference, I mean, it's very small, would be the actual, um, yeah, the tonality. So let me actually now show you instructions um, of how to actually build it and how you should go about it. So I want to make this as simple as possible because there's probably a bunch of confusing videos out there. And what I wanted to do was show you the cheapest and the fastest way of doing it for beginners because I'm aware that most of you watching this can't code. Maybe some of you can, which is impressive, but this is specifically designed for non-coders. Um, so straight off the rip, right, you've got so many options in order to build it or you could just buy it. So the first one is open source material. Now, what is open source material? It's essentially code that is publicly available out there that you can use. Um, you may have to do a bit of research and you may have to do a bit of digging on the internet, but it's possible. And the point of this is to not reinvent the wheel. You shouldn't be trying to code or trying to um, make this confusing for yourself because it's really not. There's people out there who have already got the code in which they can just set it up for you. And one of my favorite ways of going about this is going on to Upwork. Um, so let me just click that. And you can essentially find people who are AI calling experts. So as you can see, AI developer, AI voice calling agent, um, $30 an hour. So you could hire them for a few hours, not break the bank, and they could set it up for you. Um, and I'll obviously get into the integrations, the webhooks, the CRM, and I'll get into that in a second. But they can essentially do the, um, the coding for you, or maybe they already have open source material. So that is one option. And um, if you want this Google Doc with all these links, just shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll send it over to you. Um, there's also other ways. You can use uh, jithub.com where you can find public code. Um, 
But yeah, you want to find talent or someone who knows what they're doing, essentially, if you don't. Um, and if you don't have a huge budget, you could always offer them, like what I said, just pay for a few hours of their time. They'll do it for you really quickly because they've already done it before, probably. And then you could offer them a rev share of the sales just to incentivize them. And yeah, that's more if you don't have the budget. So you can also use no-code softwares like Bubble.io, um, in which there's already pre-made code, but so it's great for beginners. Um, however, the easiest option would be Simflow.ai. And this is great. However, there's a downside. And I'm going to explain in a second how you can build this for way easier. So the problem with Simflow is it's great, but it can get very expensive if you want more minutes included. So what I mean by this is, yes, the starter is very cheap, 29 bucks a month. However, you only get 50 minutes and you still have to pay for the cost per call, which is fine. But you probably need a lot more than 50 minutes. That will probably get you like, <laughs> like 20 calls if each call is what, like 2.5 minutes. So yeah, like it, it gets expensive. So I want to give you a really cheap alternative. Um, so keep watching. Um, the second thing, if you were to go down this route, and I, I'm just going to give you like the cheapest and best option out there at the end, um, and I'll show you actually how to do it inside Goha level. But um, yeah, you also need a Twilio account, um, which is really important. Essentially, Twilio provides REST APIs and software APIs for developers um, in order to use um, yeah fun things like answer phone calls, make video calls, and stuff like that. So Twilio basically puts the two together, and that's essentially how that works. You need a Twilio account. That's really important. Um, and then you need to integrate whatever code or non-code software you have into a CRM in which the CRM would be how you manage it. So right now, I'm literally going to give you um, a live example of how this works. So let me pull this up. Um, so I'm inside Go High Level, inside a sub account. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to build the automation. So let me make myself a bit smaller, put myself up here. So for example, we've got a drip outbound campaign here. Now how this works is we've got a cold call appointment setter. Very simple. And if we click on this workflow, I'll show you how this works right now. So the trigger is a tag. Now, essentially a tag is just to keep your go high level and your contacts organized, as well as put them into certain workflows. So how this works is when a tag is added, specifically the drip outbound campaign, what's gonna happen is it's gonna move to the outbound drip campaign starter, so the sales pipeline essentially. This is all it is, it's create to update an opportunity. Um, and this is once again, just to help us manage the pipeline better and see where the lead is in the pipeline. Um, so then obviously we've got this, which is batch size one, action name drip contact. So you can do this as we talk, um, yeah, if you want. So this is essentially a custom webhook, um, very simple. Um, and you can see that the, the raw body is here. So um, from is essentially where it will call from. Um, contact name is obviously the contact name. So when you upload your leads into the contact section of Go High Level, this will be able to use their first name when talking to the, the, um, the lead essentially. Um, you've got the prompt. So you'd essentially put your script here. So the content of your script, that's essentially what you want the AI to say. Um, you've got the initial message. So, hey, is this first name? Obviously, you want to qualify. And the best part about this is you can actually change the um, the tonality. And if you want a woman, you can put woman happy or woman sad. You, so you can actually change the voice. Um, you've got style guidance. You've got voice guidance. Um, so you can actually change the temperature as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I believe temperature is essentially how accurate you want it to be. So um, the closer to one, I believe, yeah, if I could, I could be wrong, but I think one is very accurate and the lower it gets, or it could be the other way around, but the temperature is how accurate you want this to be. Um, so yeah, I, I personally recommend going for woman, not a uh, male, just because they're less, the lead, from a lead perspective, they're less likely to have received a bunch of woman um, phone calls from people trying to sell them compared to male, it's probably like five, 10 times a day. So yeah, I recommend women, um, conversation speed, you can change that. And what, how this works is once it calls, it's going to add the, the tag, which is called. Um, so for example, I'll actually do a little walkthrough in a second. Um, and then it's going to wait 10 minutes and it's going to see was the call answered or not. So if a lead didn't pick up, then what's going to happen is it's going to add them to a follow-up sequence in which it's going <laughs> to literally put them onto a never ending 
uh, calling workflow. So they're going to just get constantly called. And the best part about this is it completely removes emotion from the, uh, the whole process. So if you feel like not like doing follow ups, then it doesn't matter because the AI is going to just call regardless of whether you feel like it or not. So it's way better than humans. That's what I'm trying to say. And if they did pick up, then it's going to move to this pipeline or throughout the pipeline, which is the picked up stage. Um, it's going to, once again, add a tag just to keep it organized. It's going to wait three hours and it's going to see if they booked an appointment. If they did, then great. It will put that as a tag so it knows um, to not like call them again. And if they didn't schedule an appointment, then it would, once again, move them to a different stage of the pipeline um, and add to the follow-up call sequence, no appointment. So we've basically built out all the different possibilities for what happens <laughs> when we call a lead. Um, so what this looks like is we have a yeah if contact picks up then we've got this one but we've actually got a follow-up sequence so for example um once this loads you can see that it's going to wait a day and it's going to constantly put them onto a never-ending <laughs> workflow so they're either going to book an appointment or they're just going to block you properly so it's so powerful and now to actually go into the contact section I'll show you how this works. So when you upload your leads, so all you need to do, right, is essentially up your leads. And I'll, I'll, at the end of the video, I'm going to explain how you can get access to this for like extremely cheap. It's by far the best option out there and the easiest. So you don't have to build this yourself. But essentially, when you upload contacts to high level, how the workflow works is you would basically just add a tag. So if we go here and we click add tag and we put the, um, the tag as drip outbound campaign, and we, the action doesn't matter. This action can just be anything like this. Just put G and we click add. What's going to happen is um, essentially you can see that the tag we've added here and very shortly there should be a called tag. So if we go to the automation, okay, so you actually saw it there that it would have called this lead. Um, so whenever we upload leads and you can literally upload thousands of leads in here and it's just going to call thousands and thousands Um so yeah that that is insane basically because as you can see if we go back to automation and we go once it loads go high level has like a ton of usage on it so that's why it's a bit slower in terms of the user interface but if we go back here and you'll see that you can see that here we are here so the contact that i just put on here it's waiting 10 minutes it's going to see if the call was answered and if they didn't pick it up which they didn't because this was just a test then it's going to move them to a different workflow, this this side. Um, so, yeah, that is essentially how powerful it is. So it's a never-ending AI cold caller, like, bot, basically. It's insane. And it sounds just like a human. Um, so that is essentially how the CRM works, or the back end of it. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's not too complicated. Um, however, you would need to spend some time actually building out these workflows, and yeah doing the front end stuff as well but going back to here right um if you want what i've just showed you so the go high level um crm with all the workflows built out for you and um just the actual front end as well and the coding done for you so all you need to do is just dm me on instagram and i'll give you the cheapest and the best ai outbound cold calling appointment booking bot out there completely done for you so you don't need to code you don't need to find open source you don't need to build the go high level and you don't even need to pay for go high level um it's already integrated in it and just dm me here's my instagram charlie barber biz um i'm here to help you guys out i want i always want to save you guys money save you guys time so this is by far the easiest option um so yeah you can dm me there i also put my instagram in the description i'll actually make it the first link in the description so you can dm me Make sure to follow me as well while you're at it. I post some value on there occasionally, not as much as YouTube, but, um, and also if you do DM me on Instagram, I'll send you the link to get this done for you. And I'll also, um, give you the best outbound sales script. So what this means is you can essentially, um, yeah, put that into the content section, as I showed you the raw body, um, if you remember, and it will basically just work way better because, a lot of this is having the right prompts and having the right scripts because if the, if the script is bad, the AI, it just won't perform no matter whether it's a human or AI. So that's really important. Um, if you found this video valuable, 
then just like, comment and subscribe. A bunch more AI related content dropping soon on this channel. Um, so you definitely don't want to miss that. So definitely subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.